Hello and welcome to ZFF Daily. I'm here with Belinda Salen, the director of Dark Star H.R. Giger's story. Before we have a discussion, let's take a look at a clip. He portrays accurately certain dark areas. This is coming from someplace else, and Giger is you know, just the guy that this other world is kind of introducing themselves to us. So tell me, what brought you to the personality, the person that is H.R. Giger? Well, it was quite a coincidence, or faith, if you want to. <laughs> um, I met one of his girlfriends one night, and she told me a lot about Hans Rudi Giger, and uh, immediately I was interested because I knew him from my youth. I knew a lot of paintings or sculptures, and uh, well, I was interested. And one night she took me with her, uh, to visit him and uh, since then I, I thought I want to make this film because uh, he has houses who, which are really extraordinary, quite unusual and when I entered there um, I was in a complete other world, a complete other universe and then I met Hans Rudi Giger personally and he wasn't like I imagined it him uh, he was completely another person. He was not the dark character or um, somebody who is distant. He was quite the opposite. He was a um, very charming, very nice man. So uh, I thought it's, it's quite an um, interesting point of start for making a film because um, on one hand you have this man who is not like I thought he is um, and on the other hand you, you have his art. Um, which is polarizing until now very much. And what was the process like for you making a documentary film? This was your first one. It was very interesting, to, but it was special to work with uh, Hans Rudi Giger. As you see in the film, he is not in a very good shape anymore. So um, it was quite special. We, uh, I, I really, I had to know what I want. Uh, to do with him what I want to ask him because he didn't like to talk a lot anymore so it was quite special. And he was ill throughout the film. Mm -hmm. How did that affect your filmmaking process and how did you deal with that? We didn't have a lot of time to work with him because he was tired often um, and he, he was there for perhaps uh, 10 minutes, quarter an hour, but not more. So we had to be very precise with, with what we are doing. And what do you think he would say to you now if he were able to see your film? <laughs> oh, I would like to know that, really. <laughs> I was very, very sad when he died because I really would like to um, show him this film. I don't know, I hope he, will like, he would like it. <laughs> oh, I bet he would. And what was one of the most interesting experiences you had with him that really surprised you other than his demeanor, that he's much happier than you would think from his art? Mm -hmm. I think it was special this uh, last year because we had a lot of moments who were, it, 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 it were the last moments with him. Uh, it was the last time um, I was the last time with him in his museum, so it was very special for us. Oh, I bet. And are you working on other films? Is this something that you want to continue to do? Yes, uh, definitely. I have a lot of projects in my head, but nothing to tell. <laughs> and it's such a wonderful film to have here at the Zurich Film Festival because it is local. Can you talk to me more about how that's special to be here? Yeah, I, I've, um, I thought a little bit about that because Hans Rudi Giger never gets the acknowledgement here in Zurich from the establishment. I have to be specific. He had a lot of acknowledgement from uh, his fan base. He has a huge fan base here in Switzerland and all over the world. But um, he, he didn't get the acknowledgement from the establishment. So I, I thought um, two or three seconds is it the right place here in Zurich? But I, 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 I said yes, it's exactly the, the right place because he has been living almost all his life here, so it's the right place. Well, thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the festival, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.
Watch two other interviews with interesting documentary filmmakers and don't forget to look behind the scenes.